All right. So we're going to talk about is it the um, n times n minus one divided by two, right? Yeah. So the whole concept of n times n minus one divided by two could stem from the communication model, where you have a sender and a receiver, right? But in, in this aspect of n times n minus 1 divided by 2, we have to look at the channels involved. So if there are two people communicating, they could go that way or that way in terms of the communication, right? This is called a channel. So the open channel could go that way. You could communicate from here, there, or from there, there. That is one channel. The formula is n times n minus 1 divided by 2. If there are only two people communicating, you're going to have 2 times 2 minus 1 divided by 2, which is 2 times 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. Okay? So that's how you would tackle this in the first instance. Now let's say we add one more person to the mix. You now have communication across these channels. That way and that way. Okay? And you know it's communications as well. So there are three, three paths. channels. Yeah, PMI will refer to them as channels of sure. communication. So take a look at this. If you add one more person it starts getting a little bit cumbersome and unmanageable. So we throw one more person in. We now have communication across more lines. So by the time you have these four people, you've got communication going this way up as well between these people and that way as well and that way. You see? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you apply the formula again, we can erase this. You've got the formula that will be N. Do this in a different color so that you know it's a different problem. N is going to be four, four. Right. times four minus one divided by two, right? And this would be Four times what? Two, right? Wait, four. Four minus one is three. So three. And all of that divided by two. It's two. the whole right, right. thing oh. divided by two. The you whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. Okay. So that's going to be twelve Less than, right. divided by two, which is six. six. Okay. So instead of having to draw more people and more channels like that, which is gonna get ugly pretty quick. Right. See, <laughs> instead of that, you just wanna throw in the formula. So if you've got um, five people, you've got five times five minus one, divided by two, of course, everything. And that's gonna be five times four, divided by two, which is 20, divided by two, which is 10. 10 channels of communication. Okay, so this is the number of channels and the N is the number of people. So the formula could actually say number of channels is equal to this. Uh, that would be the formula you're working off. Right. Now, on the questions that you may encounter in many mock exams, or even on a real exam, they may say, you are a project manager on a project. Now look, watch out for the subtleties. You are a project manager on a project, managing a team of eight. So you are the project manager on a project, managing a team of eight. The project manager is one person, the team is eight people. Altogether, you've got nine. So your N, so your number of channels formula is going to be equal to 9 times 9 minus 1 right. divided by 2, which is 9 times 8 divided by 2, 
which is 72 over 2, right? Yep. Which is 36. 36 channels of communication. Sometimes they may word it differently. They could say a project manager with a team. So a project manager with a team. Okay. Or they could say, yes, or they could say a project manager is on a team. So project manager is on a team means a project yeah, manager is on a team. Right yeah, you can say a project manager is on a team of nine. Right. So a project manager is already baked in. So just read the wording to know when to include the PM and when not to. And other times they could say um, you were on a project and there were 100 people and then 30 people left. How many channels, how many less channels of communication are there? Okay, so you were on a project, there were 100 people, 30 people left, how many less channels are there? So that's the before, and this is the after. Okay. Okay. So if there were hundred people at first, the Based number of channels. The number, right? Well, right. you could the it could be hundred people, including the PM. The PM is already in the number, right? Yeah. All right. So the, yeah. So you would, yeah. So you would say number of channels before before they left, before leaving, before 30 people left, it's going to be 100 times mm -hmm. 99, 99 divided by 2, because it's n times n minus 1 divided by 2. So this would be 9,900 divided by 2, whatever that comes to. And then the number of channels after is going to be what? 30 people have gone, how many do you have left? 70. So it's going to be 70 times 69 divided by 2. Yeah. Okay, now if you do the math and subtract whatever you get here, let's call this x, and whatever you get here, and do this minus this. Why wouldn't you just do the 70 from scratch? Well, Does this is be, this is oh, yes. you already calculated? Well, how many less channels? Oh, how I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. Many gotcha. less. Yeah, is right. the question. Right. How many less channels? Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so they say how many channels are right. there? Of course. Yeah, you use this. But if it's how many less channels, you would have to use your calculator uh, to do it. Right. So to help people out who are going to be inquisitive, I'll just use my my phone as a calculator. It's on my phone. It's over here. <laughs> well, this one. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm, well, I'm, not a, a, I'm not completely loyal to to um, Tim Cook. I have other <laughs> options. Tim, I hope you. I hope you're watching. <laughs> Too many levels of control, Tim. So uh -huh. I I like having a micro SD and all that. So I have a question when you. Okay. Let's see, so 9900 divided by 2 is equal to 4950. Right. Okay. So 4950, it's okay. 4950 is what we have here. 4950, what we have here is 70 times 69. Over 2. 70 times 69. Divided by two, so seventy divided seventy times sixty nine is four eight four eight three zero divided by two, and that gives two four one five. So we have this four nine five zero minus two four one five. Makes an interesting problem. <laughs> two, two, four, one, five is equal to two, five, three, five. Two, five, three, five. There are two thousand five hundred thirty-five less, less channels of communication. Yeah. So, what was the question, Michael? 
What is the overall purpose in determining or having to know how many communication channels there are? In, in an email or whatever yeah, the form of question. communication is. Awesome. So let's take a look at, at uh, I look from your a pen book. Is this yours, Gary, or is this my I don't know. That's mine. You can use okay. it. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, what they said here on page 292. So you highlighted it. It says, the project manager should also consider the number of potential communication channels or parts as an indicator of the complexity of a project's communication, the total number of potential communication channels. Potential. Yeah. That's potential. the freaking key <laughs> word right there, I'm telling you. Potential. Where N represents the number of stakeholders. For example, a project with 10 stakeholders has blah, 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 45 communication channels. As a result, a key component of planning the project's actual communications is to determine and limit who will communicate with whom and who will receive what information. So if you take a look at this, this is excessive. So that's, this is all a maximum. Yes. A maximum. Maximum, yes. Yes, because maximum. Exactly. we have plans, in fact, that say that huh. you can't say this. You can't report on right. this. You can't. Exactly. So communication so should be But potential. Yes. Yes. They could still say it. They could, exactly. That's the whole idea. I'm glad you got it. All so right. all of this stuff is really for you to analyze the number of channels and for you to limit it to exactly when it's necessary. And if it's not necessary, to cut it out of the picture. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So there's a, there's a long yeah. white paper by um, That's interesting. Jeff. That's, that's one of, problem. One of I've our, experienced this problem. One of our, yeah, one of our PMI members. You might want to Google it, uh, anyone that's watching. Jeff Hodgkinson. He wrote a really interesting paper on this stuff. Because a lot of students say, Phil, but why, why? So I say, go read Jeff's paper because he has a great paper on that um, with a member of PMI Phoenix chapter. And I really, I really admire that paper. Um, the input he put into that paper is really commendable. And it explains even to a greater degree than the Pembroke Guide why this stuff is relevant. So you can look for that paper, just Google it, you find out. Jeff Hodgkinson, number of channels of communication or communication channels on a project, I'm sure it will come out. So would it be safe to say the total amount of channels are equal to the amount of arrows going in both directions? Yeah, yes. So this, one channel, this, another channel, this, another channel. So just going is, well, just one time. Yes, one time. Okay. Exactly. Right. Not not coming back. Not coming back. Okay. So so Let's talk about it like it this. It could be one direction. It's like a phone line. If you've got a phone line, anyone can speak on the line, right? So the channel is like anyone can speak to anyone. The connection. Yeah, it doesn't have to be from, um, from buyer to, to seller or from seller to buyer. Mm -hmm. It could be any of those, you know. So, yeah, going back to our initial, our initial um, picture here, if we got rid of everyone else and we left our original two stakeholders, these people, we're going to define a channel as any direction of communication flow between these people. And I'm just using the arrow to show it could be that way or it could be that way. It could be buyer to seller or seller to buyer. Okay? And that pretty much is it. So I hope that helps, so mm -hmm. you'll be able to watch the video yeah. again and remember. Well, that, that's so. like I said.